Well, oke, okay. assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Sofia Podcast. And so, uh, welcome back with Imam here. I'm as the host on this podcast, and it's my pleasure to be a host today. And let me invite the speaker for today. Please introduce yourself, Miss Noviana Shiali. Yeah. Good. First of all, thank you for having me in today's podcast. I'm so excited to be the guest here. And yeah, let me introduce myself. I'm Noviana. Noviana, you can just call me Novi or Ana or whatever it is. And I'm from the east part of Indonesia, which is in Ternate. So if you guys doesn't know that place, you can just read about that town in my personal blog. And I am 25 years old. I'm a blogger, as I told you before. I have a personal blog, and well, I'm not a musician. I don't have any musical background. I don't make music, but I love singing and I enjoy listening music very much. So I'm very excited to talk about it today. And yeah, that's all. What about you? Are you okay? A thank you so much. Well, yeah, thank you so much. So yeah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Imam Arya Pratomo. I'm from uh, West Kalimantan, especially in Pontianak City. And I'm, I'm 20 years old. I'm a student in Islamic University. And I'm studying in <clears throat> what is, uh, Teacher's Education for Elementary School. That's my major and my faculty is Education Faculty. So our topic for tonight is about music. Well, Miss Novi, Um, what is the first thing that make you interest about music? The first thing, it's simply because I love listening to music. So that's what I've been thinking when I am, you know, like being invited to be in this podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you repeat so, the question? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then what kind of music that you usually listen? Actually, I don't have any certain music genre. I listen to all kind of music and sometimes it just depends on my mood. You know, I listen to random mm-hmm. songs and I'm not into any specific genre because because sometimes uh, I listen to music depends on the situation and my feelings. For example, when I'm sad, mm-hmm. I could just listen to a happy song to make me forget about my sadness or vice versa. Mm-hmm. Vice versa, yeah. What about you? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, sometimes, yeah. I also like singing as you, but I know that my voice is not really good when I'm singing. <laughs> so that's why I, I, I'm not really confident actually to sing. But for me, Yeah, sometimes I usually listen about Korean Chong song because um, I like the, the music because that is a slow music and can what is then can make me forget about my stressful <laughs> activities. Yeah. yeah, and sometimes I sing Dangdut also because based on the request from the. participant in in some agendas that I ever invited so yeah <laughs> that's for, um, from me so Miss Novi you said that you um, like singing right so yeah. what kind of song that you <clears throat> uh, usually sing when you have a free time it's kind of weird but you know have you ever listened to random song somewhere and then it's stuck mm-hmm. in your head and you spontaneously sing it mm-hmm Yeah, so I I couldn't say that I have any favorite song to sing because mm-hmm. because the song just suddenly stuck in my mind after I hear it somewhere. Like when you when you listen a song from the TikTok and you doesn't even know whose song is that, but but there is a time when you suddenly sing it. So that's it. Hmm. So it means that you you sing all of the song based on the uh, music that you listen. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> that's very interesting. Do you experience the same thing? Sometimes I did it, <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Hmm, because when I listen to Kron Chong, I try to imitate their uh, singing style, maybe or maybe uh, try to sing by my own style. <laughs> yeah. Your own style. Maybe you could just mm-hmm. give me an example of it. Let's get a bit more. Uh, sorry, what? 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, so could you repeat, please? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I mean, maybe you can just give me an example or try to sing it in your style. I guess oh, it will maybe in the end of yeah. this podcast, yeah. <laughs> in the end okay. of this podcast. <laughs> this is uh, this uh, still beginning, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh huh. So, and then um, I just read some articles that music can decrease our stressful because uh, some of music has a very very touching part. For example, like a classical instrument and also classical songs and maybe a mellow or slow song. How do you think about that? I couldn't agree more. I think mm-hmm. music could make us relax. Like, uh, have, have you ever re- read an article that music could be a therapy for us? So mm-hmm. when you, when you like, it's, it's, it, it could be a therapy and like a healer for you. I've ever write an article about it in my blog, you know. I write a, mm-hmm. ar- an article about uh, songs that helps you uh, to get through your your overthinking or uh, a self-healing songs. I write the recommendation about it because I believe that songs, and uh, no, it's not songs, music is like um, the universal emotional language and mm-hmm. it could make us feel better. And of course, it just depends on the genre. Mm-hmm. And what else? Yeah, mm. <laughs> I couldn't think about other things. No, what else? What about yeah, you? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, same as you, I think. Yeah, um, because when I feel stressed, I listen a very slow music, like a classical instrument, a piano or guitar or something like that from. Um, Beethoven, um, Bach, uh, and also Mozart. No, no, no Mozart is uh, not slow music, uh, but yeah, yeah. I just uh, like Beethoven in, in slow instrumental playing, and also Bach. And I forgot what's the first. Uh, yeah, I forgot the name of the. Um, how can we say that is a composer? Yeah. I forgot the name, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes I, I I play it when I feel stressed after uh, doing my daily activities. So, Miss Novi, um, and also, how do you think if music can be the message from your heart, maybe, or uh, if you would like to say but you can't say by your mouth, you try to say it in the song. So how do you think about that? Oh uh, yeah, wait. Before I I answer a question, maybe um, mm-hmm. I'm gonna talk about your taste of music. It's same like me, I guess. <laughs> we have the same random taste music. Like sometimes we mm-hmm. listen to the classical genre when we're feeling stress or when we're mm-hmm. studying or something. And then, what's your question uh, about music as a messenger for people? Yeah, I mean, like, have you ever think that music can be a message? A message, yeah. Mm. Yeah, music can be a message for us and for other people. Like, uh, you know, music mm-hmm. about music that talks about future and security. It could, it could uh, deliver the message to people that feel feeling that. Like, when you feel insecure and you listen to the song that talks about insecurity it's like you get the message from it so so music can be like a messenger to people <laughs> mm-hmm. isn't it yep did i get the point yeah hey. you, you get the point <laughs> okay yeah I'm happy for that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah okay uh well the next question is <clears throat> what do you think if some of people blame about the taste of music of someone for example like if i uh, like a classical songs as uh, for example we can say kroncong or maybe a dangdut right and i think that is not a classical song in indonesia uh, for example we can say kroncong sometimes my friend uh, told me that i'm still in the old old era this is a modern era imam so you have to move 
you have to try to taste the newest music like yeah. pop or reggae or something like that but um for me yeah for me i just try to stay it to make it consistent as an um i can't say that i'm an artist but i think i just try to <laughs> keep my identity about music the, the taste of my music uh, my taste of music so what do you think about that if someone blame uh, the ta- uh, your taste of music i'm not gonna say like it's a, it's blame or something it's like mm, maybe yeah. Think, <laughs> yeah i i have seen that kind of phenomenon everywhere like people think that their their taste of music is superior than others mm-hmm. and i couldn't say i i i'm not gonna normalize it because you know music is art it is something that everyone can enjoy and everyone have yeah. their own taste so we couldn't say that our t- taste of music is better than anyone else because mm-hmm. uh how to say that in english it is you know mm-hmm. it is something about our feelings so different people different feelings different tastes and it is not something to be judged or to be blamed mm-hmm. like that <laughs> yeah so that's why <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah so based on your um act, i mean based on yourself you say that you you sometimes uh, listen a random music uh i'm sure that you must have one dominant genre of music that you all were uh, listen so what's that <laughs> well that's that mm-hmm. can i tell you about my uh music taste journey i don't know how to say that we could just oh yeah just it's okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> when i was um in elementary school i guess mm-hmm. i listened to justin bieber song okay um that song you know his music helps me to 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 learn english so i learned okay. music from his music mm-hmm. and then when i went to the senior high school my music taste changed i listened mm-hmm. to to the old song like the beatles or oh uh yeah so i kept mm-hmm. singing his song and after that i changed my taste of music again I listen to Mocha song. It is an Indonesian band, indie band. Mm-hmm. And I'm so in love with their song. Ooh. Mocha song. Their song is very cute, and it suits my voice. Because mm-hmm. whenever I sing that, they they said, "Wow, you you sounds like the singer." <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna sing it every day. Mm-hmm. And wow. <laughs> and then mm-hmm. when I'm in a university, I listen to. Indonesian singers like Lulz mm-hmm. okay. or yeah other Indonesian singers that I couldn't mention one by one mm-hmm. uh-huh. and now oh. I'm listening to all kind of music but still oh. Mocha song mm-hmm. is in my playlist oh wow that's interesting yeah, I, could, yeah, I could sing that one song for you but later Yeah, as as we we what is it as our promise that we have to sing in the end of this meeting, right? <laughs> I didn't promise that. But that's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> and and then uh, I think this is one uh, my last question. So, what is your uh, point of view about music industry of uh, in Indonesia? music industry in Indonesia mm-hmm. I listen to Indonesian song but I don't listen to all songs of Indonesia I mean yeah, in, I in, think... in this time like uh, the competitors yeah. uh, uh, the, the, what is it the singers are uh, competing each other to make yeah. music or maybe like something like that and also about the copyright about yeah wow. what do you think Okay, first of all, I think the majority of music in Indonesia is mostly about love. You know, mm-hmm. love because every day, every hour, all I heard is just uh, music about heartbreak and things like that. Mm-hmm. But that's not a problem anyway. And besides that, I also heard any kind of music that, you know, 
nowadays people keep talking about mental health and mm-hmm. uh, music yeah. about mental health is on the top so that's mm-hmm. a great thing and i think people have to the singer have to keep making that kind of music to motivate people to inspire people mm. yeah i think it's really great and what else about the copyright mm-hmm. yeah I think most of singer always worried about the copyright, and maybe uh, some singers claimed uh, one song, maybe they claim another song as themselves or something like that. Yeah, as we can see, many cases. Yeah, we we can't mention the name of the <laughs> people who did it, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think, and I'm sure that you have knew about that news, right? Uh, I'm not really sure. Hmm. For example, like uh, when the newcomer singer sing about the song, and then the what is it? The son of the creator of that song claim that this new song using my father's song. I think you know this case. <laughs> this you know using my father's song. Yeah. Is- Maybe the, the rhythm is like. I forgot the the, the title. Um, na 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 like that. And oh. yeah. I'm so, not into that. You issue. don't know about that case? Yeah, I don't know about that case. Fortunately, you fortunately you don't know that case because <laughs> I think yeah about the, the the copyright is really really uh I mean like the crucial issue uh in the. Uh, But is it in the si- in that situation? Yeah, industry. yeah, in uh, music industry of Indonesia. Because so that's why many singers don't want to make a song every year. Hmm. I couldn't hear your voice. Did you disappear or something? <laughs> When I read the article or the news about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear your voice. It was the disappear suddenly. Really? Oh, maybe because yeah. of my my connection. Sorry. So yeah, I think that's it from me. And about the copyright. Yeah, about the copyright. So, and I, I uh, for the closing, I, I just would like to ask you, what do you think about the copyright? I mean, like your your point of view. Is it really really um, helpful for the original singer? Or what do you think? Yeah, copyright is a match for every character, especially in the music industry, because mm-hmm. it is uh, one way to protect our, our you know work, mm-hmm. isn't it? Yep, yeah. it's about royalty also. <laughs> yeah, the royalty as well. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, I saw. Uh, no, no, this is a question. Why did they just ask a question to the host? Um. It's there okay is, if you would uh, like to ask me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> is, yeah we, we still uh, have more, maybe five minutes. <laughs> oh, how long is it? Is it more than know. 15 minutes already? Yeah, for me is almost. I think it's more than 15 minutes in my in my uh, stopwatch. Okay then, so we better talk about <laughs> it privately then. We yeah, okay. Just cause the podcast by okay. saying song. <laughs> Well, for the closing statement, uh, what will you uh, say? I mean, what you want to say about the music of Indonesia, uh, music industry about it, of Indonesia? Things that I want to say about music industry is that mm-hmm. keep keep making music, keep making good music, keep keep inspiring mm-hmm. people with the touching lyric and. Just to keep making good music. I don't okay. have any great message. Yeah. Yeah. What about so, you? Uh, for me, I just be delightful by uh, um, making music. <laughs> <laughs> so that's for me. Okay, uh, Miss Novi, thank you so much for your time to discuss with us about music. And as the last, I would like to make a little conclusion. So music is really, really. <laughs> Um, the best or the perfect thing that we can use to 
decrease our stress and also it can be a message for someone and also it can be a thing that <clears throat> uh, help ourselves to move from the dark situation to the bright situation so i think that's all for me thank you so much for your attention i'm so sorry for all mistakes that i did well thank you so much for coming and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh have a nice day have a nice day